Did the Little Ice Age help create the perfect violin? This is a Stradivarius violin valued at $14 million. Strads are expensive for many reasons. They're rare, masterfully built, and still the gold standard for the world's best performers. But one theory points to climate. Between the 13 and 1800s, the Northern Hemisphere plunged into what's now called the Little Ice Age, a 500-year-old cold snap that froze rivers and shortened growing seasons. During the coldest stretch of this era, Antonio Stradivari, the greatest violin maker of all time, was making his golden era instruments in Cremona, Italy. His violins had unmatched acoustic properties, capable of producing a more powerful and complex sound than the violins of his peers. Why? Well, some claim that trees grew differently during this little ice age. Slower growth meant tighter rings and denser wood, especially for spruce and maple, the two main types of wood used to make violins. Stradivari likely didn't know why this wood was special, but he could hear it. He carved his violins thinner because the denser, slow-grown wood was strong enough to hold up under tension. That flexibility allowed the plates to vibrate more freely, producing a richer, more resonant sound. And Stradivari figured out how to work the wood better than any other maker of his time. Other objects from that era, like ships and furniture, also benefited from that same wood. Shipbuilders prized it for its strength to weight ratio, and cabinet makers used it for fine, durable furniture. But there is a big difference. Those things are pretty much gone. Ships rotted, furniture broke, went out of style, or perhaps sit idly in museums. The Stradivarius violin is still very much in use on the world's most famous stages. It's one of the only surviving products of that climate era that is not just fully intact, but also fully functional. That's a big part of what makes Stradivarius violins so valuable. Modern violin makers have tried to replicate Little Ice Age wood using moon wood harvested in winter, submerged logs aged underwater, even torrefaction where wood is baked to simulate age. But none of it fully captures what nature did over centuries. So when you hear a Stradivari instrument, you're hearing a colder winter, the echo of a climate crisis that helped to create the perfect violin.